corsages for? Well, one's for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> one's for Gina. Lovely. I think one was for Shell. Lovely. Um, and then I think yeah, the rest of them pocket things. And then there are six buttonholes. Brilliant. So yes, so, so that's six, right then. So yeah, so are six buttonholes? Are you buttonholes Will, or corsages? Will, Steve, I'm a buttonhole and Claire's one of them. Claire's a corsage. Oh. Right. Sweet. So you're a corsage. Thank you. Thank you. That's Thank you, Mel did it. You know from Mel's hair design? Mel, she's good. Melanie Hornby, Louise and Freebo's oh, ladies. Yeah. She's, she's coming to the wedding. Yeah.
do is uh, when we have players coming in first, so when players coming in, I'll ask you all to be upstanding. The music will play, then we'll have a wedding. Great. <laughs> Can't wait. You can still talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> We don't want to start without them. of days and thank you to Errol and Claire for asking me to do the honours. Humanism, as you might know, is a simple life philosophy, non-religious and really just about, yes it is, <laughs> really just about treating people the way that you would like to be treated and having respect for everything and everyone that shares this beautiful planet with us. Before we begin in earnest, I'd like to introduce you to the wedding party and it's a couple of pages, so bear with <laughs> In no particular, now I don't even know who's who yet. In no particular order, we have Maid of Honour Rochelle. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Claire and Errol's best friend. They tell me they've all been through so much together, it just made perfect sense. They say Rochelle writes awesome poems, and that they are so lucky to have her, and a wonderful family in their lives. Bridesmaid Mia. Where's Mia? Yay! Yay! <laughs> Is Andrew our rusher's daughter? Where's Andrew? Hey, always. Right, me, Paige. That's you. Perfect. <laughs> they have lots of fun together. <laughs> Writing stories, singing, playing music, and sorting out the doll's house. Paige Boys Oscar. Where's Oscar? Yay! 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 Michelle's son, of course, and Claire and Elle have known him since before he was even born. <laughs> and last, but as they say, by no means least, and I'm not actually finished yet. That's recent pages 
Irish little brother, everybody, and they love tractors, and they have lots of fun singing, playing games, dancing, and eating. <laughs> On to best man, William Dowling. Where's William? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Claire's totally amazing. Awesome brother. He makes beats and writes songs. Wow. And they're delighted that Will and his family have been able to make it over from Bordeaux, no less. Thank you also to Usher Andrew. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've done that already. <laughs> Old friend. We've got two mentions. Stephen, where are you? Stephen, <laughs> thank you so much for escorting Claire today. We don't give women away to be married anymore, thankfully. But it was still important to Claire that you were with her, signifying your support for her marriage. So thank you. Similarly, Errol's brother Kenny, by process of elimination. <laughs> thank you for doing likewise for Errol. A special moment for you all, I'm sure. Claire's mum, Veronica, whom I've already met. Yeah. My husband, Alan. Very warm well, welcome, lovely to meet you both. And similarly, a big hello to Gina and Alison Whiteley. Yay! Errol's foster family, without whose intervention, 25 to 30 years ago, life would have been very different. The couple would like to thank you for everything and all of you have done and continue to do. Claire and Errol are eternally grateful for the love and support that you've all given them. And a really massive thank you to you all on behalf of Claire and Errol for coming, Will, Roxanne and Oscar. We're delighted you made it from France in these tricksy times. Auntie Audrey's in a care home in England. They can't make the wedding, but we'll be able to enjoy the filmed version, I would imagine. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. And of course, on special days like today, we do feel the loss of loved ones that are no longer with us, just that wee bit more. And although they're no longer around, they're very much in our hearts and minds. And I know that they'll be in your thoughts today, for sure. None more so than Dot and Frank, Errol's foster grandma and granddad. Dot loved a family gathering and would have had the wedding organised before there'd even been a proposal. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, wait, what about our funny friends? I hear you ask. We've got lots of them. Queen Dog of Honour, Lucy the Dalmatian. Yay. <laughs> Best dog, mischief. Mischief, just got that. <laughs> the Lab Collie, or DLC, you're beautiful. Funny bridesmaids, Beryl, Madge, Doris, Holly. Yay. 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 Dog of Honour, Max. Yay. <laughs> Is that everybody? That's Come Holly. On. That's everybody. Very bright, very Holly. Holly. Fine, Holly. good. Yeah. So on with the show, and what a show. And I'm sure you wouldn't expect any less from this fine pair. <laughs> Our photographer today is my good friend Jenny Wells, but Errol and Claire want to ask that all of you take photographs and video footage, just try to avoid getting in Jenny's way because she's very angry. She gets very angry. She does it. She does it. Ever. And I'm marrying her soon as well. Not to me. I'm not. Anyway, that's <laughs> Now, there's a Facebook page, or is it a group that you've got for the wedding? It's a page. It's, it's a page. The moot. Easy. The moot. And you're positively encouraged to upload photographs, videos, memories of today. So let's have our first reading of the day. And can I ask Will to come forward and read a few words about relativity? I'll give him a folder. Oh, thank you. Ah, I see. Well, done with before. <laughs> Where's Will? He's here. Oh, you're here. Forgotten already. You got it with you? Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Good lad. I'll just get out of the way. Let's go Hello. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a poem or just something he said that sounded poetic. Uh, but it's uh, some words that Ar Albert Einstein uh, said that was Claire and Errol are fans of. Relativity by Albert Einstein. Gravitation cannot be held responsible for people falling in love. How on earth can you explain, in terms of chemistry and physics, so important a biological phenomenon as first love? Put your hand on a stove for a minute and it seems like an hour. Sit with that special girl for an hour, and it seems like a minute. That's relative. Thank you, Mr. Einstein. Thank you. Now, I'm a big fan of a quote or two by people much cleverer than I in a wedding ceremony, and I particularly like to quote one of my heroes, the late, great Carl Sagan, who said many clever things, but in particular, do you want to come a little bit closer to each other since you're going to be getting married shortly? Well, you might <laughs> <laughs> In particular, Carol Sagan said this undeniable fact. For small creatures such as we, the vastness of the universe is bearable only through love. 
But I'd like to know how in this vast universe these two lovely humans met each other and started on their journey. So this is just a wee four-page retrospective <laughs> of the story of Errol and Claire. You can't do that on your wedding day. When can you do it? Mostly told in their own words. They made my job very easy. Claire remembers meeting Errol for the first time in a gay bar called The New Penny in Leeds in 2001. We had a mutual friend called Becky. Errol was with the group of friends chatting. Claire looked at Errol and thought, wow, she's beautiful, and struck up conversation with her. But Errol seemed a little bit aloof, <laughs> which of course intrigued Claire even more. <laughs> and Becky could see that Claire was keen. A few days later, Becky called both Claire and Errol to arrange to meet them for drinks. But when they arrived, of course there was no sign of sneaky Becky. <laughs> but Claire and Errol had a brilliant night chatting, laughing, eating and dancing together. Claire wasn't sure what she wanted for a while, but she definitely knew she wanted pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, she took, so she took Errol out for lots of pizza. Before heading to Scotland, where she missed Errol and finally decided she wanted to commit, not just to pizza, but to Errol. <laughs> they complement each other very well. Like any relationship, they have their ups and downs, but through communication, mutual love and respect, they've worked through the difficulties, making the relationship stronger than ever. Having said that, it became apparent as soon as Errol moved in that there was one issue, an issue which exists even today. For the first birthdays they shared together, Claire gave Errol a provisional washing up licence. <laughs> Twenty years later, Errol failed to upgrade the licence which has now expired. <laughs> <laughs> that old chestnut, eh? Both Claire and Errol knew from the start that they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together. They told me, when we first got together, we would go on long drives in the wee Suzuki Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> taking Lily, our first dog, with us everywhere. And this hasn't really changed. We never just drive the easy way on the main roads to get where we're going. It's essential that we go as far off the beaten track as possible. <laughs> OK. On a few occasions, they've even found themselves willing the van through boggy streams or holes with bits of road holding them together. They say that trips like these are always great fun and full of reward. <laughs> Late one night after busking in Glasgow, they came back over hills on the logging road and saw owl flying, deer, and an amazing, very rare red panda. Funnily enough, I think yesterday was Red Panda Awareness Day or something. Right. Well, I don't think I'm making that up. No. Our love of food no. has always been mutual. One of the first dates ended with a food fight, and the Suzuki Jeep covered in ketchup and vinegar. Food faces in McDonald's, where I don't even want to know what that is. That was a fun date. And there have been lots of pizza dates, not surprisingly. These days, they love nothing better than some lovely home-cooked food or a bite to eat with a cheesecake, usually from Café Rendezvous. Where's that? I need to... In Wake Town. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's the place. Sounds like my kind of place. Yeah. Uh, when they'd been together for a few months, they agreed that if they ever split up, they would meet each other outside the Corn Exchange in Leeds at 10 a.m. on the 10th of October, 2010. <laughs> Luckily for us, they didn't meet on that date, and they've been together ever since... In 2003, they started playing music together at home, which developed into performing as the Moot from 2005. <laughs> They've worked together as a team and built a successful business, playing live music together. I know for a fact that their reputation definitely precedes them, and they're all well loved by all who know them. They've shared so much together. <laughs> Didn't like that bit of the story. <laughs> Didn't like it. They've travelled north being pop stars, pirates, elves, Victorians, sharks and kangaroos. They've played at festivals. They've lived, certainly until the pandemic, very public lives. But Claire and Errol love their privacy. They value being at home with the peace and incredible nature of Wittenshire around them. The freedom to explore and the ability to just be themselves. They also love a good adventure, to a point. Setting off on walking adventures, which is my worst nightmare, full of enthusiasm and determination until they're nearly at their destination but convince each other they're lost and need to turn around. <laughs> which made the adventure to Amsterdam quite interesting. Apparently, I didn't know this, Amsterdam is a city designed on semicircles. So Claire and Errol spent five days just turning around. <laughs> <laughs> and the attractions that they saw were just purely by chance, which sounds like a great holiday to me. They've been together for 20 years. In that time, as I'm sure you're aware, there's been incredible changes in society, which thankfully allows same-sex couples the freedom to be and to express themselves in many different ways and to be who with, the, who with 
who they want to be with. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> and I myself have benefit, benefited from this seismic and very welcome change, because love is indeed love. Claire and Errol have seen and felt these changes too. The differences in society, policies and general acceptance have developed so far in such a short amount of time. And of course, as a member of the Humanist Society Scotland, I'm proud to say that our charity was instrumental in bringing about some of these changes and we continue to campaign and lobby for social justice and reform. Claire and Errol are both so happy and proud to be able to be legally married and celebrate the relationship and I absolutely second that. We spent most weekends entertaining people at pubs, weddings, parties and other events creating amazing memories. The right time, space and people have come together in one place and now it's their turn to have a big party. And I think that, my friends, deserves the most raucous applause that you can muster. <laughs> send me three reasons they love each other, but they totally ignored that, <laughs> quite <laughs> rightly really, quite rightly, and they just went rogue, and they sent me what they call their soppy bits, which sounds like a terrible euphemism, <laughs> so, here's Errol's, sorry. so here's Errol's soppy bits about Claire, Claire is my soulmate, I can't imagine not being with her, she has a very rare ability to love unconditionally, her warm embrace, her caring nature, her loyal love and support know no bounds. Claire shows me a kind of love I didn't think existed. She brings balance, peace, reason and calm to my once chaotic life. Through Claire's amazing musical talent, she's changed moods and brought magic to people all over the country. I'm so grateful and proud to have been on that journey with her. Finding peace in music and performance is something very special. Our lives together are the most important thing to me. Claire is my rock, world, life and everything. I'm so excited to so that fly, <laughs> to spend the rest of our lives together, together we're living our best lives. Now for Claire's soppy bits about Errol. When I returned from Scotland, I was, sure I, wa I was sure I wanted to commit to a serious relationship and it wasn't long before Errol moved in. It was around this time I knew in my heart that Errol was the one for me and that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. She's funny, caring, intelligent, generous and very wise. She understood the complexities of my character and I could relax and be myself with her. I enjoy spending time with my Errol. We talk about everything and anything. We share similar interests like playing PlayStation games, music, eating good food and just being outdoors. I feel our relationship is as solid now as ever and that we should make it official. <laughs> I feel so grateful to live in a time where we can actually get married and it's something we should have done a long time ago. I'm so lucky to have Errol in my life. She helps me to be the best version of me. And she says, I love you, darling, always and forever. <laughs> and so, it's a good time for a second reading. <laughs> this time, oh, is it nice? it's you, Rochelle, sorry. Right. And this is called From Beginning, Beginning to End, and it's by Robert Fulgham. And it's a beautiful piece. Do you want to use the folder, Rochelle? Yeah, I'm that need that. Yeah. So you are there. Uh, what? Don't go on there, because you'll be doing the rest of the ceremony. All right. So what you do? Just for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing, but I cry. But I've already done that. <laughs> the symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, "You know all those things we've promised and hoped and dreamed." Well, I meant it all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintances, friends, companions, lovers, dancing partners, and even teacher. For you learned much from one another in the last 20 years. Now, you shall say a few, years, a few words to take you across the threshold of life and things are never going to be quite the same between you. I want to let you stand next to each other. Yeah, like hold hands and stuff. And I'll move over here. Is that okay for the microphone? I just think, yeah, let's do that. Thanks, Michelle. Lovely. It leads us very nicely into the next part of the ceremony. So Claire and Elle have chosen to seal their wedding vows with a traditional Celtic hand fasting. 
in Scotland until the mid-1700s. Marriages were often celebrated with a simple hand-clasping ceremony in which the two partners joined hands, and the couple's hands were literally bound together lightly with cord or ribbon or tartan as a symbol that signified a declaration of intent to get married. And of course now it often forms part of the marriage ceremony itself, like today. Hence that commonly used phrase, tying the knot. So, let me get the hand fasting ties. <laughs> now, would you like... I've got, you've got a choice. Oh, you can have a mixture. One of these and one of these, or two of these, or one of these, two of these. <laughs> Green, let's do that. You can tell I take a very casual approach to this. <laughs> so what I'm going to do yeah, is... Fussy, you got hands. Well, we could still do it. Still do it. So what I'll do is, I'll get behind you, and I'll, I'll instruct you on in what to do. Okay. So what I need you to do is, like, that if you grasp Earl's forearm, and you do likewise, perfect. So what I need you to do, so I've got two ties here, and you'll see why, shortly. <laughs> so I'll put that under, whose thumb's that? That's mine. That's fine. <laughs> and I shall do this. Will I do that again? <laughs> no, I won't. Sometimes you get four. Well, well, I'm having trouble with the stuff. I, I oh, do you want? To do it. It's a miracle this works, actually, but we'll soon find out if it doesn't. So you hold on to, I'll just pull that there. You keep holding on to that. And then I'll tell you what to do, and hopefully it'll all work out. <laughs> Errol and Claire, as you make your vows to each other, you're holding the hands of your best friend. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are also the hands that will love and cherish you through the years and give you strength and support when you need it. And I hope that as your hands are joined together now, your lives and hearts will be joined forever. And now for your marriage vows. I'll ask you both separately to repeat after me. Claire, alphabetically, you'll go first. Errol, I love you. Errol, I love you. And would like to be with you for the rest. And would like to be with you for the rest. Of our journey down life's path. Of our journey down life's path. I will respect, support and accompany you. I will respect, support and accompany you. Through the great and not so good times. Through the great and not so good times. I will love you and trust you. I will love you and trust you. Throughout our days. Throughout our days. I will help you through times of sorrow and pain. I will help you through times of sorrow and pain. I will laugh with you through times of joy and happiness. I will laugh with you through times of joy and happiness. I will support you in all that you wish to do and achieve. I will support you in all you wish to do and achieve. And most of all, and most of all, I will love you with all my heart. I will love you with all my heart. Thank you. And now Errol. Claire, I love you and would like to be with you. Claire, I love you and would like to be with you. For the rest of our journey down life's path. For the rest of our journey down life's path. I will respect, support and accompany you. I will respect, support and accompany you. Through the great and the not so good times. Through the great and the not so good times. I will love you and trust you. I will love you and trust you. Throughout our days. Throughout our days. I will help you through times of sorrow and pain. I will help you through times of sorrow and pain. I will laugh with you through times of joy and happiness. I will laugh with you through times of joy and happiness. <laughs> I will support you in all that you wish to do and achieve. I will support you in all that you wish to do and achieve. And most of all, I will love you. And most of all, I will love you. With all my heart, always. With, with all my heart, always. Your marriage vows are bound by these knots and by the words that you've spoken to each other. So now, if you would like to gently pull your hand that way and your hand that way so this forms a knot right through. <laughs> Let go, haven't you? Let go. <laughs> go yeah! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and you hold that like that, and then hold it up so it's a kind of cross thing that way, so Jenny can see the cross. Turn it sideways. Sorry, I'll get out of the way. I'm in the middle. Bob, well done. Thank well you. Done, well done. That was great. Steady, okay. steady. Right, give it now. I'll now ask you to, we're well, not finished yet. I'll now ask you to accept each other in marriage by making the legal declarations required by Scots law and to exchange rings as a symbol of your love. Reese, I think you have the rings. That's <laughs> gone today. Oh, cool. Fine. So if you'd like to bring them forward. So, Claire, would you like to see Errol's ring first? Oh, it's got a wee light in the box. <laughs> 
Yeah, it says, hang on. That one's yours. That one's mine and that one's yours. Put them both in my hand. That's we'll put the box down. Cool. Sit. That's a posh box when you open it up, I like it. So, Claire, would you like to take Errol's ring, please? Place it on the third finger of Errol's left hand and repeat after me. In the presence of these witnesses. In the presence of these witnesses. I, Claire. I, Claire. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely declare that I accept you, Errol. That I accept you, Errol. In marriage. In marriage. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring as a token of my love. As a token of my love. Well done. Errol, would you like to take Claire's ring, please, and place it on the third finger of her left hand and repeat after me? I'll put it back again. Oh, is it the right way? I didn't realise. Well, it's okay. No, it's okay. You put it the right way, anyway. Perfect. Now, you repeat after me. In the presence of these witnesses. In the presence of these witnesses. I, Errol. I, Errol. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely declare. I accept you, Claire. That I accept you, Claire. In marriage. In marriage. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. Errol and Claire. Errol. Now that you've made. You're done. <laughs> We're done. We're done. <laughs> Lucy, come here. Errol and Claire, now that you've made your marriage promises and made the required legal declarations, it's now my great pleasure to declare you married. You may share your first kiss as a married couple. Oh. Schedule. Then we'll have our final reading. Then we'll be singing. So what I'll do is, if I can hand out the word sheets, the lyrics. Um, now, you'll have to share. I think I've printed 30. I'll send some that way for the teacher. I'll send some that way. If you could share them, that would be great so that they can reach the back. Unless you know the words already. Uh, so we'll be right back with you and enjoy some music while we have a break.
welcome back. Thank you for your patience. Would Alison like to come forward, please, for a final reading? And this is simply called Love by an unknown author. Thank you. I'll save the story for how we got to me reading this book later on. <laughs> <laughs> Love isn't always perfect. It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It's a short word, easy to spell, difficult to define, and impossible to live without. Love is work. But most of all, love is realising that every hour, every minute and every second was worth it because you did it together. Thank you very much, Alison, and thanks to all of our readers for their lovely heartfelt contributions. It's not an easy thing to do. So we're nearly at the end of this happy ceremony and afterwards I know that you'll want to congratulate the newlyweds and celebrate with them in the traditional manner with three of the finest words in the English language, music, food and drink. <laughs> the evening reception is at 7pm and there'll be lots of live music, so I've been told to tell you don't be shy to jam, the instruments will be set up. Thank you to you both for choosing me to marry you both, what an honour. And a big thank you to Caroline's Catering for stepping in at short notice and to Linda and Diane for just being amazing. <laughs> Have you all got the, the lyrics? Some of the everybody got a copy to share. Thank you. So I'm gonna officially introduce the newlyweds after we've done some singing. So, without further ado, let's sing. <laughs> you only got the lyrics, we know the beginning.
for me to do is to introduce to you the newlyweds, Claire and Errol! <laughs> Fantastic, thank you so much. Okay, ready? Steady. Go round. Is that fast enough? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I'm going to take a picture. I want to say a massive thank you to the bridesmaids, Mia and Paige, and the Paige boys, Reese, Oscar, and Morgan. Hang on, let's do everybody steady. Okay. Mia and Paige. Thank you, guys. Mia and Paige. Oscar. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Oscar. Yeah. 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 
personality, I think it will be yours, because it's, it's developed and it's, and it's made my daughter a beautiful human being, Aww. and I think we all agree with that. So thank you, Errol. Thank you. I'd like to tell lots of jokes, but unfortunately I've forgotten them all. <laughs> so I will end on that note. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for anyone that hasn't been thanked that should have been thanked. Oh, Veronica, forgot to thank Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Errol, for making Claire so happy. Oh, yeah. uh, and thank you for joining our family. Welcome to our family, this blended family. Uh, and you've you really enriched us, and we've had such a fabulous day today. Thank you. Can I say, the ship of life! <laughs> and there's a few of us here today. Our father, the Polish father that you heard about earlier, he always talked about embarking on the ship of life. And when you met 20 years ago, it, it was a life raft. <laughs> and you built it onto a really strong ship. And you welcomed other people onto your ship with love. Uh, and it's like a little ark now. <laughs> you taught us all so much, and you brought so much happiness. Oh. To everyone that knows you. We need so, to <laughs> so, um, as you embark on the ship of life, and last but not least, absent friends, can I just mention our brother Stefan Canada, uh, his wife Carol, and their children. Shell, you've made my voice go. <laughs> 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 yeah, shouting on your own. Uh, our sister Tessa and Robert in Australia, I know they're with us in spirit. Yvonne is with us in spirit in Chatteris, can't be with us today. Very much wanted to be here with you and her children, John and Ben. The other darlings that are not here and all the other cousins that are not here. Uh, I'm really, really privileged and grateful to be part of this clan. And thank you for giving me so much happiness today. Do you know, can you use your own mind? <laughs> 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 but it 
in the long run, she pulled it all together, and there were secrets from Claire, and Claire had her things to do, and you didn't know who to talk to, and then there would be me and Kenny going, we need a four-way extension, <laughs> we need this. And I didn't even know what a four-way was, so I was grateful when Mel answered the phone and knew exactly what a four-way was. That's Hannah. Um, Hannah, yeah, Mel was the hairdresser later. But see, there's been so many people. Um, obviously, the lovely food. Caroline and Diane and Linda for the mm -hmm. hall. I mean, she's been amazing, hasn't she? Yes, yeah, Diane's been incredible. Well, well, she's not here now, but she's yeah. been amazing. To and from mm -hmm. doing all this. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just so grateful that Will could get here with his family. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. made Claire's, well, everything. Everything. Yeah. everything. <laughs> and Kenneth, yeah. for Errol, it was. <laughs> Just some things are meant to be, and it was meant to be today. And I like, like how you said the shoes were black. It's just how it is, isn't it, guys? You take people in, and you took me in, and here we all are, like ten years later. I remember meeting you, and they have been together for ten years. Like, wow, I'm, like they're a bit old, and now I'm that age, and we're not. We're not old. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, it's been a really good day, and I hope that we enjoy the rest of the evening and have a really good party now. Yeah! Like, party yeah. time! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
have to find a better way For our children of today No need for paranoia and fear Your sisters and your 